Nothing. Nothing. Oh, great. Midwife rooster. You're staying down a lot more when I come in. Are you starting to nest? Are you starting to nest, Miss Love? Let's check your leggies. I hope your ligaments are still there. I can still feel them. What do you think? Tomorrow when it's 70 degrees, maybe? Yeah? Well, what about you? What about you? Oh, my lovies. Can we check your ligaments, Miss Willow? I'll act like I'll give you a back scratch and we'll work back. Oh, you're softening. Mr. Rooster, could you chill? <laughs> I'm starting to get a little antsy. I know it's the day before due dates, but I, I always have like this thought that they're going to wait until <laughs> I can't be here. But these girls are really great mamas. I'd really like to be here for it, but I mean, I've there have been times I haven't been here for a birth and they were just fine. You guys ready to come out? I had your breakfast. Don't stray. Tiana. Tiana. Come on. Don't stray. Good girl. Go on. No, go on. Good girls. Have a good day. Have a good day. Love you. Today might be the day. Yesterday was Tiana's due date. Nothing. Today is Willow's due date. And they both kind of look like they're, uh, they're thinking about it today. Ligaments are still kind of there, and that's usually like the first sure sign, like it's going down. <laughs> but they've just been acting kind of like they've nested a lot. They've been cleaning out places. Hi, are we are we gonna go today? Hello, sweet willow. Hello, sweet willow. Today maybe. Today you've got quite the full. Uh, look at how big she is. Let's see. Can I scratch your? Oh boy, you are soft. And she's actually got a nest right there. And you guys can tell, like, right? Can you move your face? She's been pawing. So, and she has dropped. She has dropped a lot. So, I'm thinking, I can still kind of feel them, but she's softening up a lot. Is it going to be today, my sweet mama? I really want your babies to come out. And I want them to be little girls. So we can keep them. You're so sweet. There's some sweet girls in here today. You're sweet too, I promise. You're sweet too. You're sweet too. Yes. Oh, look at those little whips. Willa lost her ligaments last night. It's been a night of every two hours. And it shows. <laughs> but you can see. No captives have been released, and no captives have been released, but she's nesting today. Can we see the nickies? Uh, they're softer, but they're still there. And if she won't let me check, because this is what she did last year, she wouldn't let me check where the she run. Oh, she is like, yeah. If you guys can see that, but I can, I can basically touch my fingers around her tail head. She's squishy. Um, no mucus yet. And for her last year, I think that was her, her final signal. She lost ligaments for about 12 to 14 hours prior. Didn't want me to check. And um, she's kind of following suit this year. This is also why it's really good to keep really good notes on your does when they're kidding because it can help you the next year if you're like, well, goodness, when is she gonna go? If you look at your notes from the year prior, Sometimes it does shed light and you're like, oh, she does this every year. We'll see. Hopefully I have kids the next time I see you guys. I think it's go time. I guess I'm gonna grab a tripod and sit in here and bump on my little girl that I definitely looks like she's in the, the throes of um, early labor. <laughs> Help 
boy. Get right down to it, folks. He actually came out presenting with one foot forward. And I reached in there because I found that if you hold the skin um, around her vulva, that it kind of helps them to push. That skin doesn't stretch so far out. And there's no, there's no progress. So I found like if you hold that just a little bit, then it seems like it helps to progress them. And I think it's a little less taxing on skin. And um, I could just see he had one hoof and I reached in to feel just to see if his head was forward. Most of the time, if I see two feet at one time, I'm not gonna reach in unless um, there's no progress for like a minute or two. Um, with just one foot, I was really worried that he would be presented with one foot and his head would be tucked under. So when I reached in, I felt that his head was actually there. I could feel his teeth. So I knew he had one foot forward with his head presented. Um, as she started to push, I was just kind of holding that front leg and giving steady pressure down to help her along in her labor. And not long after I could feel one other hoof was tucked right, right back here. And what that does is that um, gets those shoulder blades for that kid to kind of expand out. It kind of makes them wing out through their elbows and it makes them tough to pass. I have, I have no doubt that she probably would have passed that just fine if I hadn't been here, but I don't like to leave things up to chance when I'm here. So I just, hooked my finger on that other hoof and pulled it forward and gave steady pressure not long after he slid right out. It's really important to keep an aspirator bowl nearby when you're kidding out your goats because sometimes when babies are born, their first instinct is to take a breath and sometimes they can inhale the mucus that they're coming out with, which can cause them to aspirate. So these aspirator bulbs that we use for human babies work great in clearing passageways. Something new that I'm using this year are these puppy pads. I've seen a lot of different people use these in kidding and I have to say, I love them because it gives me a really quick clean surface to put the baby on. It helps me to keep all the mess in one area because I've noticed sometimes does will actually lick hay or the area where they birthed the baby and not so much the baby because that's where the most smell from all of the birthing fluids is. So I find that I can collect them easier on these puppy pads and then I can just throw them away rather than trying to clean out a yucky mucusy towel in my washer and dryer. Are you rock and roll again yet? You don't really have to get ready to know, huh? Tell. We're lining up for number two. You know, number two's already coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. So fast on that one, huh? Are you ready to blow up for it, I see? Oh, goodness. Just turn my back for a second. Oh. Oh, Jim. 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 Jim
it, darling. Black is night. The little girl's already trying to find her and herself a nice, a nice teat to get a drink from. That's so good when they're up and they're this strong and already looking for that udder. It really helps us out as goat midwives when the babies kind of get it and they're born healthy and with it. I think she's found it. She's got that little tail wag going under there. watch them move through labor, especially with those that are kind of bonded to you. It's almost like they want you there. She'd been talking all morning. She called every time I left, but with working full time, even though I can work remotely and I'm on my lunch break right now, she conveniently timed for it. I'm sure she kept that in mind. Um, she just, it's so nice to know that a doe wants you around when they're having their birth experience. I'm actually gonna get out of her way for a little bit though because I want her to, to bond without me in here. You're so good. You're such a good mom, Willow. Oh, look at them already moving so fast. Willow, they're mad you're getting a treat and you're not paying attention to them. But Mama's got to replenish some of her lost energy. Are you not having it, little girl? You're pretty content back there. I'm guessing you've gotten a good drink. <laughs> Hello, little girl. You are just so dark. You're so beautiful. And then you, little sir. Oh, my gosh. That face. That face. Oh, Mama loves you so much. So good. You are such a good little girl. Are you in a milk coma? You're so calm. You're so calm. You are so calm. Look at that little girl. What a sweetheart. What a sweetheart you are. Yes. What a sweetheart. Tiana, soon? Tiana, soon? I'm really thinking on some name suggestions. I have a couple written down, 
but some of you guys are so good at giving names. Why don't you guys drop in the comments below what you think the two names should be for this buckling and his doling sister. The doling is black and the buckling is going to be like a, um, a nice gold when he's all dried off. He's a little dark right now, but as he dries off, he'll get a lot lighter. Not to mention once we get him out of this lean to the daylight on him is gonna make him look so much different but they we are just so blessed look at this happy little family it was worth all the two hours checks last night just to make sure that they're born safely i, I really wouldn't i know sometimes i complain and whine but everybody's allowed to complain and whine sometimes when they're really tired but uh I'm glad to have our first two kids of 2022 safely on the ground. I'm so happy we caught it on camera to bring you along with us. And next up is Tiana. So with that being said, I can't wait to see you guys in the next one, hopefully with more baby goats and we'll keep up with these two. Make sure you drop name comments down, names, suggestions down in the comments below. And if you like what we're doing here on Mulberry Branch Farm, you can't wait to see more baby goats, don't forget to subscribe so that you will be able to see when we post our next video. But in the meantime, guys, we hope that you are all staying safe out there and being kind to one another. We will catch you all in the next one. God bless you. Bye, y'all. You're such a good mama, Willow. You're so good. My little girl, you're so pretty. Black as coal, huh? <laughs>